You have seen her gorgeous creations. <laughs> Gorge, gorgeous creations on the Food Network's Hayride of Horror and Outrageous Pumpkins. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's a pun if it's written out. Gourd. Okay, we're, we're, we're trying here. Local <laughs> pumpkin carving artist Monique Hawk joins us on the floor to share a few tips and techniques. Monique, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, you're from San Diego, but you're not here. What are you doing today? Where are you? So I'm in Grand Junction, Colorado. It's a little different from California. And we are out here with the whole crew of Outrageous Pumpkins from the Food Network. So we were flown out to do a very special event. It's called Harvest Illuminated. So we took over 500 pumpkins and we've worked for the past three days to put them all over the botanical gardens here in, in uh, Colorado. So I have a couple of designs that I can show you guys real quick if you have some time. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of uh, zoom in if you can with that phone. And I know we're on a, zo a literal Zoom um, <laughs> interview here, but show us what you made. Oh, oh no. This is oh, a there giant you go. display. So when everyone walks in, they get to see this really cool Harvest Illuminated. And the, the whole the whole thought process behind this design is to light it up. So at nighttime, all of these light up. So we spent probably the last 20 or so hours creating all sorts of different displays for everyone. Okay, this is incredible stuff. It's beautiful out there. Yeah, I can actually experience fall colors, which is really nice <laughs> considering we're from California and it either is green or dead. So. You know, okay, so I do have to ask you this, Monique, and this is a very, very self-serving question here, but as far as carving a pumpkin myself with the kids at home, what are like the two or three tools that are must-haves? For me, I obviously a great knife. Um, kids, be careful. Have your parent or guardian help you out with a knife to cut off the top of the pumpkin and take out the guts. I personally use clay sculpting tools, so you can get them online, Amazon, super cheap. You type in clay ribbon tools, and those are great for carving out or sculpting the outside of the pumpkin. Okay, so those are the tools. How do you make them last? Because I do them, they're good for like a day. <sighs> That's, and that's the tricky part, and all carvers kind of have some different thoughts behind that. Number one, spray it with a bleach water solution. You can do a bathroom cleaner and spray the outside so that prevents it from getting moldy. And then you can use Vaseline or hairspray that'll actually oh. preserve it and kind of keep it from um, meshing up. If you have space in your refrigerator, you can take a wet paper towel and then saran wrap it. So if you carve it a couple of days in advance, wet paper towel, saran wrap the pumpkin, and then pop it in the freezer. Okay, the so refrigerator. I, sorry, not the freezer. The refrigerator. Got it. These are like fantastic tips. I'm really learning a lot here. As far as doing more than just two triangle eyes and a triangle nose, like what's one more thing that a rookie might be able to handle? Like, can you give us a little tip there? Um, lighting is everything. So if you do mess up a pumpkin, if you're not, you can carve the outside and then super glue is like pretty much the top secret for any kind of pumpkin carver. You can super glue pieces. So you get the waterproof super glue. And so let's say you're doing a design from one of the pumpkin carving books and a piece falls off, which I know has happened to myself. You can super glue it. All right, you've seen her on Hayride of Horror and Outrageous Pumpkins. Uh, <laughs> Monique Hawk, the pumpkin carving expert, we want to thank you so much for your time today, oh. giving our viewers some guidance and showing us these incredible works of art that you guys have produced out Look there. Look at that motorcycle, Monique, that's awesome. <laughs> this was a super fun piece, and we have some sound effects, if you can hear it. And then this was all a structure, wood structure, with some chicken wire, and then the pumpkin carved on top of it cool stuff. That's amazing. Monique Hawk, thank you. Good thank stuff. Thank you for having me. All right.